We've made our way up to the small town of Hillmar, home of Hillmar Cheese Company, where they manufacture more cheese per year from one site than anywhere in the world. And guess what? It's in our California. Let's go check it out. So we're inside Hillmar Cheese Company in their visitor center, and I'm here with Denise. Denise, tell us, how long have you guys been here? So the company started in 1984, and the visitor center opened in 1998. You have such a large cheese manufacturing plant, you have a visitor center out front. <laughs> yep, exactly. So we're actually one of the world's largest cheese and whey manufacturers. So we produce a lot of cheese, and what we do is we sell wholesale, and so other companies purchase our cheese. That's why you never see the brand Hillmar in the store. When we were looking up and doing research, we just found this, this obviously this, this title of being the largest manufacturer under one roof currently. Yep. yep. And then you have this visitor center where people can stop in and check it out. Exactly. So. What we're trying to do is just help people understand about what agriculture is and what we do in the dairy industry and how we process cheese. And our theme is tour, taste, shop, and eat. And we have a lot of great fun things to do while you're here. Oh, that is so cool. Well, tell us what's behind us right here. So this is our cheese theater. So basically, when people come in, they're gonna get a chance to come watch about a nine minute, what we call an edutainment film. Um, <laughs> it's got word. spotlights, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, everybody uses that, right? Yeah. So uh, we've got cutaway models of the actual cheese making equipment. Mm -hmm. And we share with you a little bit of the story of how cheese is made, how whey is processed, and then all the great things and the nutrients and the values that are made from that. I hear a tour going on right now. You do. And what's happening on this tour that I guess students are on it, right? Exactly. So we see about 15,000 school kids a year. So we're really excited. We'd love to have another 100,000 more. <laughs> um, it's free for the students and their schools to come here and we don't charge for activities. Let's go check out and see what they're doing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, cool. What are Thanks. we looking at? So we just have a, a lot of fun, hands-on exhibits for families, people of all ages to come and learn about the dairy industry and how cheese is made. This gives us a chance to share the story of what's going on in agriculture and some of the different things that we're using to help take care of our planet and to help take care of the people with good nutrient food. So it gives us a nice, um, platform to just share what's going on and answer people's questions. So. Sure. Where does all the the milk from the cheese come from here at your factory? So the milk that we use to make the cheese comes from local dairy farms that are owned by local families and it comes from about a two and a half hour radius from here in Hillmar. What's happening right here Denise? So basically this group of students is learning um, how cheese is processed and how we make it so they're making a mini batch and they're not actually going to eat the cheese. Oh. Uh, we actually have them weigh it. It wouldn't taste good until it's aged for a little bit and okay. so that's uh, one of the things that we really work on. So uh, they're following the scientific method. So when they started the process, they start with pasteurized milk. Mm -hmm. Then the next ingredient that they're gonna add is the starter culture. So starter culture is the good bacteria that gives the cheese the different textures and flavors. So oh, okay. different varieties of cheese use different types of starter culture. Then the next step is to add the rennet, and that is what causes the milk to thicken or to coagulate. Mm -hmm. And then what they are going to do is they'll cut it, and they create then at that point what little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her. Curds and whey. Exactly. All so right. the curds are then drained, and then the whey, we then process into whey protein and lactose powders. So oh. like all your bodybuilding whey proteins, and then lactose is uh, used in infant formula and different nutritional components as well. Ah. So we process that with our way. Most importantly with our way is we end up with water that we use for recycling. Oh. So yes, so we recycle okay. a lot of water because milk is actually 87% water. Denise, this is where everybody can see the factory. Exactly. Oh my gosh, that's cool. It is, it's really fun. So you'll get a chance to see our employees um, package what is truly the big cheese it's a 640 pound crate of cheese. That's what it's called in the industry. So that is basically the size of what a 640 is. So it gives you a good idea of what our employees are handling down there. We're down in the gift shop now and the tasting part really begins. <laughs> oh my, is exactly. this out for everyone to it come in and is. try? It is, yeah. We try to have a lot of different samples of not only our cheese, but we carry other California cheeses. So we'll have samples of those as well and gourmet foods and things that complement cheese. Oh it's a cheesy goodness. kind of spot. And, and I mean, where I look, I see other baskets of other cheese options that people can come in here and try. But what do we have in front of us here? So today we've got our Hillmar cheese, mild cheddar, mm -hmm. our famous squeakers, which is fresh cheese curds that squeak, okay. and then also our pepper jack. 
All right. So it, it, is this spicy? Is spicy? Mm -hmm. So I would, I would. Okay, this is fresh. This was made yesterday. Okay. So you're gonna start with your your My curves, squeakers. your squeakers. So and you're gonna laugh. So the way to hear them squeak. Can you hear any squeaking or no squeaking? Okay. Then like this, and you're gonna be able to hear it squeak. Oh. There you go. And then you can hear it squeak if you hold your ears closed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, who knew you chewed that loudly, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah. There's a lot of squeaking going on in and there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's really cool. It's good. It's excellent. It's very mm. fun to have fresh. So this is Colby so Jack. And we're kind of mm. at the whatever the plant is making that day that we go pull. That's what we get. So sometimes squeakers are cheddar. Sometimes the squeakers are Colby Jack like it is today. Sometimes oh it's Monterey Jack. That's so a, this that's, is fun for people too because they can. It, and you can't really buy them in the stores, so it's something oh. very fun as well. Why is this not something that's available in stores? That it's often? fresh, so you, know, you really oh. need to consume it all within just a couple days. Okay. So that is our mild cheddar. So it's a really good, I know. <laughs> Glad you like cheese, right place to come then. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm a little so nervous you're, on this I know, one. I hear you're not as a spicy <laughs> I'm fan. I'm not a spicy guy, but yeah. here we go. It's okay, try it. What do you think? It's got a spice to it, it's definitely got a kick to it. Yep. And people who love spice. Oh my gosh, I bet they you love really that. love that. So that is actually finished Colby Jack. So you need to try that. So okay, that's a so nice this slice. Is a... That is this before it's been aged. So when you say age, about how long are we talking on so, age? So um, the first early days of cheese, it needs to still knit together. And so this is before it's knitted together. And Colby Jack is not a, a long aged cheese. So it's one of the fresher cheeses at anywhere about 30 days or less. So oh wow, it's a, a fresher cheese. Yep. What other cheeses do you manufacture here? So generally what we manufacture is what we call American style cheeses. Cheddar, Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, Colby, Colby Jack, a little bit of mozzarella. Uh, we do a, now a Gouda or a Howda, depending on mm. what country you're from. So those are the styles of cheeses that we manufacture. Wow. And people can try them all? Exactly. They're going to get here and try some different samples and then um, get a chance to also use it. We have some other varieties of California cheeses. We're very proud of California's cheeses and so we want to share those Why things with be? everybody. <laughs> yeah. Tour, taste, shop, eat. So we did, the, we did the tasting part. Now we're actually going to get to the eating part. <laughs> exactly. Got to come hungry. Okay. Now what are we making right here? So we're making some of our famous grilled cheese sandwiches. So we're known for our cheese chowder soup, which is one of a kind, absolutely delicious, yes. And then um, we also do cream cheese brownies. So you have to save room what? for dessert. <laughs> and even better than yet is a cheese pie. How much cheese is coming out of this plant? So we're doing uh, more than a million and a half pounds of cheese per day. Per day? Per day. I can't even fathom that. Exactly. Oh my goodness. All right, so it looks like our sandwiches are just about done. Exactly. Now we have to tour, taste, shop, eat. Exactly. Now it's the eating part. All Time right. Uh, cheese chowder, cream cheese brownie, cheese pie, vintage cheddar cheese with bacon, four cheese, and peanut butter and jelly with bacon and vintage cheddar. <laughs> I love our California. What?